Hello guys, this is Kpaxian here and this is episode 3 of my let's play of Ace Combat X. So I haven't played for a long time but now I'll continue. And this is the campaign on Ace difficulty. And we are back on mission 3. Okay, anyway, I just have to take down, destroy, I mean, like, mm, seven ships. And for this mission, I'll specially use the Fenrir, the best plane, but with, not with the LSWM, because it's too powerful. So, it's not difficult. You just have to watch our six because there are many fighters and you can get destroyed with two hits. And taking off is really easy in that game. You just have to reach 2,100 meters and you're done. That plane is really nice by the way, great speed, acceleration, it's very maneuverable and weaponry is uh, what you can say. Now we just head for the bridge and wait for the ships to come. I'll take that one down. I always do it. He's too annoying. Yeah, that has a great range, by the way. Yeah, anyway. I just have to destroy the target. You can see it's too easy to do it. But I have to do it for the let's play. left I think I'm gonna take that one down because he, he might take me down and if they can't swim what do they do perfect mission accomplished what the anyway Okay, now the cutscene. We've succeeded in destroying the enemy. Our ground troops scored a major victory by using the chaos caused by our attack to storm in and secure the port. We. Okay, now we save and watch the cutscene. By the way, that tower is great for stunting. As I gazed out the window at the night's 
sky. I felt as if even the phases of the moon were somehow at odds with those of the northern hemisphere. The words of a fellow reporter, who fancied himself a connoisseur of fine wine, really got me thinking about the price of the glass of wine in my hand. One glass of it is roughly equivalent to several years of a Laysathian citizen's salary. Haven't the long years of civil war left Laysath an impoverished and war-torn nation? Whatever the case, much is unclear about the flow of money in Laysath. Ever since I arrived here, I've only covered stories the military had approved. However, this particular mystery just might be worth investigating on my own. The idea was nothing more than the product of an idle mind. At least at the time. It's over, I think. No. Now we'll get a briefing. Uh, okay, let's get started with a report of the situation. I think our best option under the circumstances would be to head towards Santa Elva. Santa Elva is a strategic location that we have to pass through to get to the capital, Griswold. However, there are several other strategic points on the way to Santa Elva. Which points you choose and in what order you do so is up to you. It looks like your decisions will affect the course of this battle. I know it's an immense responsibility, but there's no one else to count on. We're relying on you to get us through this. It appears that the enemy's Miller unit is gathering at King's Hill. It looks like they're trying to take back Port Patterson. I wonder what they're up to. Next, we have reports that the Allied Davis unit is cut off at Stand Canyon. Claypnir took off from Puna Base and is currently standing by at Terminus Island. With the long strike range of the Claypnir, there's not much our forces can do. It appears that the enemy is moving towards Stan Canyon to eliminate our remaining forces. We'll need those remaining forces in our attack on Santa Elva, so I think we should probably send help. If left alone, they'll be helpless against the aerial fortress. Just like what happened to us in Cape Aubrey. Also, Santa Elva is a key location for the enemy, and I think they'll concentrate their forces there. We'll have major problems if they send in their aerial fortress. I'll give you more details once you decide on a route. Please tell me which route you plan to take. Okay. Uh, I think I'm done for now. So, episode 4 should be done shortly. I'll do it today, I think. Bye.